The scene begins with two anonymous people having sex. In the middle of it, the phone is blowing up with text. This is Brooke, she is Owen's wife. She's back home from a trip and they two share a long hug. So let's go to five days earlier and see what really happened. It's Christmas season and Brooke is working late at the gallery. She goes back home and receives a text from Anska at 2 a.m. in the morning. This is Anska. He's an artist who draws naked women whom he's had intimate relationships with them. This is Adam and Eleanor, Owen's and Brooke's friends. They are a couple. Owen wants to spend Christmas in Paris with Brooke, but Brooke wants to focus on the opening of the art gallery on the weekend that's coming. Ansga calls Brooke in the middle of the double date, but she declines it, and later she excuses herself from the table leaving Owen with that face. Back home, Owen surprises Brooke with flowers and a card. Owen brings up the Christmas in Paris topic again. Since the gallery is opening on Friday, he says by playing their cards right, they could go to Paris on Saturday. But Brooke says that she can't because on Saturday, that's when the actual selling of the paints begins and she added that Anska needed her. Owen reluctantly agrees with her and goes out to take trash, taking with him the card from the flowers. He opens the card and takes out the flight tickets to Paris that he had bought for Brooke and him. Back in the house, Owen had left his phone and Brooke checks and finds that Sarah is texting her with some suspicious text. Owen comes back and Brooke gives Owen his phone back. So the next day at the office, Anska has some big news. There's a really big buyer who's interested in Asuka's art who wants to meet them, but he's in Paris and they have to fly the following day. With the big news, Brooke has to tell her husband. He goes to Owen's workplace and he breaks the news to him, which he didn't like the thought of Ansga and Brooke together. It's the night of Brooke's flight and she's packing her clothes when Owen comes in. They make up from their previous argument and Brooke assures Owen of her trust even though Owen does not trust Ansgar. They are about to be intimate when Owen sees the clothes that Brooke is packing for the trip which is disturbing to him. He later goes out with Adam to get some drinks and he shares that he can't let go of the thought that Brooke is cheating on him. Adam reassures him that Brooke wouldn't do that because they've been together since high school. As they are about to go and leave the bar, a young lady says hi to them and recognizes Owen as a broadcaster and she shows a lot of interest in the field and Owen is impressed. Back in Paris, everything with the buyer is going smoothly but Ansgar starts touching Brooke sexually but Brooke stops it. At the bar, the young lady who is Amy asks for an autograph and a picture. She asks Owen to stay so that he can meet her friend Brianna who will be happy to meet him but Adam wants them to leave and Amy asks both of them to stay, but Adam declines, and Owen stays. They order a drink and Amy gets a text from Brianna saying she's bailing. We're back at the beginning of the scene and the two anonymous people who are having sex are Amy and Owen. Brooke is blowing Owen's phone with texts asking him to call her. After having sex, Owen asks Amy to leave and that it's best for them to never see each other again. The next day, Brooke leaves Paris for home. She goes back to work to get everything done for the opening of the gallery. Anska comes with a new painting that kind of resembles Brooke and he actually named the painting Brooke. It's the night of the opening of the gallery. Owen sees Anska being all over Brooke and being touchy and it disturbed him. Everything just seemed suspicious but Amy is in the building. After Owen saw Amy, he freaked out and asks Adam to play along with his story that they've never met her. Brooke asks Owen if he's ever met the lady, but he quickly says no. Anska introduces Amy to everyone and it's awkward. Adam and Elena leave and Owen leaves and says he's going to wait for Brooke outside. Anska drives Amy to Owen's house saying she's dropping something by. She goes to talk to Owen who is reluctant to talk to her and they eventually talk and Amy says that she, she will never tell Brooke about them and there is actually more to the story. So this is how it really happened. After Brooke got the news that she is going to France with Ansgar, 
she went to her best friend Eleanor and told her the incident where she read Sarah's suspicious text to Owen. Eleanor then gave her the idea of hiring a decoy. A decoy is a professional who flirts with your partner and leads them on and sees if the partner is faithful or not. She then gave Brooke the decoy's contacts. The morning when Owen went out early in the morning, after their argument, her suspicions got the best of her and she called the decoy's number. Before Brooke's flight, she met up with Amy, who is the decoy. Amy assured her that she's got nothing to worry because she has a boyfriend who she loves and she does the decoy job because it pays well. She also added that in case Brooke wants to bail, she could text sorry, have to bail, and Amy would reply. While in Paris, Brooke built the decoy thing and Amy cancelled the video recording. Ansgar and Brooke are having a drink and Ansgar is complimenting and flirting with her. But Brooke is waiting on Amy's text, but Amy is not texting back. The next morning, Brooke leaves the hotel leaving Ansgar behind. Amy paid Brooke a visit at the gallery and said that her phone died, that's why she didn't text back. She added that Owen was completely faithful to her and nothing happened. But in the actual reality, she flirted her way with Owen and had more drinks with him and ended up sleeping with each other. With her phone being allegedly dead, Brooke had no proof that Amy was there and so Amy gave her Owen's autograph. She got paid and Brooke invited Amy to the opening of the gallery that night. The night of the opening, Amy tried explaining to Owen what's going on, but she didn't get the right moment because Owen didn't want to talk to her. Owen and Anska started fighting and throwing words at each other, but Brooke broke the fight. Amy and Anska went together and Brooke told Owen that she will be dropping Anska from her gallery. On their way home, Brooke asked Owen if he had ever met Amy but he denies again. Brooke pulled out the autograph and gave it to him, but he said he couldn't remember. He then says that a girl approached him, asking for an autograph and a picture on her phone. Brooke then asks if it was really with the girl's phone, and Owen confirms it. She asks him to tell him what really happened at the bar, and Owen said that he didn't mean for things to get out of hand, and that she was spending more time with Anska, and before he could complete his words, Brooke got angry and asked the driver to stop the car. She gets out and Owen follows him, asking her to finish the talk at home, but Brooke is super mad and asks for his phone to look through all his texts and she leaves with the phone to Eleanor's house. Back at home, Amy told Owen that Brooke hired her as a decoy. Owen is mad, now that he has learned that his wife set her up. Brooke is at Eleanor's house. She looks through the newspaper and his phone and finds that Owen was actually working with Sarah to expose a politician who was having a sexual misconduct. She goes back home to finding Amy and Owen having a conversation. She super mad at Amy for crossing the line. She added that with hiring the decoy, she was actually hoping that her husband would be faithful. Even though she created the circumstances by spending most of her time with Anska, Amy gave back the money from Brooke and Owen asks Brooke if anything happened in Paris and she says no. Owen asks if she was unfaithful to him and she replies with, what if I was? We go back to the moment in Paris, the time when Owen wasn't replying to Brooke. She couldn't help but think that Owen is cheating on her. Ansgar wanted to show her something and they went together to Ansgar's hotel room. He showed her through the window how far he got from painting on the streets to where he is now. He then started kissing her gently to him and dressing her. In that intimate moment, Brooke told Ansgar she couldn't do it. Back to the current situation, Owen is packing for his Vegas work trip. But as he was about to leave, Brooke asked him if he was going to come back for Christmas. He takes out the friend's tickets and asks her if they will go together. The next thing we see Owen is feeding a baby by the Christmas tree and Brooke joins them. Back again to the current situation, we are back to Brooke answering if she will go together with Owen. It's a moment of silence and the movie ends with both Owen and Brooke smiling. So that's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait! Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one soon and thank you so much for being here.
See you in the next one.